Michael Davis and Grace Portalesi uh, from the Andy Thomas Space Foundation. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Terrific to be Pleasure. here. Well done on the 15th uh, Australian Space Forum. Uh, you've had nearly a thousand people or around, what's the final number today? We're sitting, sitting at more than a thousand, a thousand and thirty-one to be precise. Yeah. So we're very pleased about uh, that figure. Of course it's about more than just the numbers, yes. but um, it really points to the fact that this is the premier space event in Australia run by the foundation. It's a not-for-profit. We are deeply committed to investing whatever proceeds we make from uh, the forum back into space education programs. And as the new executive director, this is your first uh, space is. forum. <laughs> uh, will you sleep well tonight, do you think? <laughs> I will sleep so much better than, uh, than I have been sleeping since the first, first of February. But look, it's incredibly satisfying to see and feel the energy and excitement in the room from industry, universities, researchers, and of course, you know, the reason why we do this, our students. So we have a space passport program. Uh, about 120 students have been brought through the exhibit area. So this is all really about um, opening uh, students' uh, possibilities to STEM as pathways. And so. I've got to say, the seeing the students around adds a whole different flavour to other events that you tend to go to as, the, as an industry. Michael, uh, Chair of the ATSF, um, and, and Grace obviously taking over the lead. Uh, the highlight this year is JAXA being here, and I was surprised yes. the President of JAXA, it's his first visit to Australia, yes. almost fell over. Uh, how does that mean for the, from the Foundation's perspective and reaching 15 as well? Yes, well, um, we're, our role is to enable um, co collaboration, cooperation, um, industry development. Um, and um, with our key partner, the Australian Space Agency, right behind us and uh, giving us advice on uh, what they consider to be the important questions, topics, areas of discussion, uh, we naturally uh, followed their advice, invited the Japanese representation, and we were overwhelmed with the interest that we got and the level of the senior level of the uh, representatives. And there's Fantastic. other Japanese companies here as well, there's a number of them, right? That, that's right, yeah, yeah. so um, it, that's what it's all about. We, we provide the platform, we provide the excuse for people to come and uh, travel and attend, um, as well as the online interaction as well. And now the 16th Australian Space Forum, uh, maybe some news mm -hmm. on that on that one? Yeah, very exciting news. So of course the Australian Space Forum has been held uh, twice a year here in Adelaide and it's been terrific um, and it's really uh, been part of growing the space community here in South Australia but we see it as at the Andy Thomas Space Foundation we see it as part of our mission and in fact our leadership role really to share our expertise and to share all of this with all Australian communities so we have made a decision to uh, to have the, the first forum of the year in Adelaide and the second forum uh, of the year will travel to another part of Australia and so um, the first one will be in Sydney on the 6th of December. We're very excited about that. Of course this will push us logistically but all good, thi all good things are worth you know working hard for. So. There is a super early bird rate for people who are watching. Uh, so go on to your app now. Um, but Sydney promises to be huge. Um, and you know, the facts are that the world is just waking up to space now. Of course, everyone in this room has been deeply committed to the sector for a long time. But there is a, an increasingly busy space conference market. And so the fact that we can attract, you know, over 1,030 registrations uh, in Adelaide is is really a testament to the fact that the the community and the industry really values an opportunity to get together to talk about the future and we're very proud of the fact that we can bring everyone together. I know it's an early question and this one isn't even over but what, any uh, insights into the theme for the 16th Australian Space Forum? We, we do have we do have some insights big insights <laughs> so of course the focus uh, the focus for this forum was on uh, cooperation in the Asia, Asia Pacific region and, we, and in the afternoon we're providing a, uh, an update on Australian space capabilities so terrific and timely and the JAXA presentation 
and presence has been outstanding. So not only did we have the space agency here, but we have over 20 uh, space-related organisations that visited as part of that that uh, delegation. However, what we are thinking for Sydney, and of course, you know, we have colleagues that uh, whose role it is to to work with us on this, but. Our, th our thinking is to follow this sort of AUKUS, shall we say, theme. So bring together our colleagues from the US. I've al already had very strong expressions of interest from the UK. Um, and, you know, we are, we are dealing with uh, the aftermath of really the defence strategic review. Uh, the government having, you know, uh, made a very strong declaration about its commitment to AUKUS. So we think that's where we are going. We also will explore um, the capabilities of space to deal with things like climate change. So of course, space, you know, as Enrico Palermo said this morning, you know, we, for, for a lot of people, you know, space is glamorized through sort of TV. And we don't often think about all the downstream um, capabilities that space offers us to, to make our lives better and to look after our planet. So, and climate change is, you know, number one pressing issue facing our, our nation. So, especially for young people. Absolutely. And so for me, and I'm sure for Michael, you know, if the question is STEM, is STEM, if STEM is key to unlocking the future productivity of our nation, then space is the platform because everyone can relate to space. We don't have a hard time convincing um, children and students and families to get on board with space. Um, so yes, so we're very excited, as committed as ever to what we do. Wonderful. Well, Michael Davis uh, and Grace Portalesti, well done on the 15th Australian Space Forum. We look forward to seeing you at the 16th in Sydney. Absolutely. Uh, but obviously the bell's there for the next session, so <laughs> go and enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for everything you do, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.